Hey guys, this is Calvin from Instalod. In this four part video series, we are going to take a look at one of Instalod's core features, occlusion culling. In this series, I'm going to walk you through all of the occlusion cull settings, including the two different main modes, how to use occlusion culling in conjunction with the optimizer, and finally, I will show you some amazing new workflows that have been enabled by Instalod's occlusion culling. Let's start off by looking at the individual settings. The mode option allows users to toggle between how occlusion culling is applied in the scene. Automatic interior looks at the scene from the outside, while camera based looks through cameras which can be set up by the user. We're going to look at these two modes in more detail in other parts of this video series, so stay tuned for that. Using the culling strategy, we can decide what in slot should look at either entire objects, sub-meshes, or individual polygons. With the data usage, we can then decide what to do with those selected polygons or objects. We can either delete them, paint them using vertex colors, or paint optimizer weights. Vertex colors can be used for custom workflows, while the optimizer weights can be used by InSlot's optimizer to, for example, optimize the interior of a motor while keeping the exterior intact. The resolution works similar to a ray tracer. For every pixel, it shoots out a ray. If that ray hits a polygon, that polygon is considered visible. If, however, we have a really dense input mesh and we use a low resolution, we won't have enough rays to trace every single polygon. So therefore, those polygons that are not hit by a ray are removed and create unwanted holes. This is where a higher resolution would be required. As an alternative, the adjacency depth can be used to close off those holes. This setting is only available in the bipolygon culling strategy mode and makes sure that X amount of neighboring faces from the visible polygons are maintained, which can help to close off those potential holes. When using the culling strategy by submesh or by adjacency, a separate setting is available called the submesh face threshold. This gives users control over how many polygons need to be visible to keep a mesh from being removed or painted. The alpha mask threshold determines the point at which rays can pass through a surface. When ignore back faces is enabled, set faces are taken into consideration in the occlusion call process and therefore can occlude other polygons. Finally, meshes that have the translucent mesh suffix are considered translucent and will therefore allow rays to pass through them without further effect. The automatic interior precision increases the amount of iterations when looking at the model for a more precise result. The camera-based render output path enables the main camera to render a frame for troubleshooting purposes. We have now looked at what the different occlusion culling settings do. In the next video, I will show you how to apply them correctly.